Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what caused the SkyTrain to derail at Miami International Airport. Two cars went off the tracks during maintenance early this morning. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya joins us live from MIA with the story. Natalia. Well, airport managers say all of the cars involved in this derailment have been towed to a nearby hangar so they can be inspected. But now, 14 hours after this derailment, the train system that runs above MIA remains shut down. Instead of zipping down the tracks, transporting thousands of travelers making their way to their holiday destinations, the SkyTrain at Miami International Airport is stopped. Airport managers say it derailed around 2 a.m. Tuesday while an operator was on board doing maintenance. That employee was not hurt. But the accident has forced airport managers to shut down a convenient method of travel through MIA during a very busy travel time. This is a serious um, accident there. I mean, you yeah, see but the, I mean, the it's rail. A bad travel day today. So many people, and I had regretted not asking for a, a cart because my hip was hurting, you know, so I had to like carry things. She's not alone. The Wright family is beyond frustrated. They have all these little carts that people can ride in, but there was nobody driving any of them. I've never been in an airport where they didn't have, you know, back and forth traffic with them. Yeah, do it on your own time. I want to get my bag and get out of here. Come on. It was also a big inconvenience for Pat Kubeka, who at five months pregnant walked so far from her gate to baggage claim, she had to stop for a bathroom break in between. We walked from the other side of the airport all the way to here. <laughs> I had to do a stop by the loo first, and then we'll come all the way here, but it's far. This isn't the first time this airport has dealt with train trouble. In 2012, the MIA mover, which was transporting passengers to and from the rental car area, derailed, sending people flying in the car. One man even grabbed a child from a stroller in the commotion. No one was seriously hurt. Passengers we spoke with were glad they weren't on board during today's derailment, and most had a positive outlook about the accident. Stuff happens. I mean, it wasn't that arduous. It's a long walk. It's good exercise, though. So now investigators are taking a close look at both the train cars and the tracks, inspecting both before they put that train service back on. Back on. And if you are going to travel through MIA, airport managers say you can use a cart, one of those trams that they have, to transport you between the gates. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Natalia.